Hello dear fans. How to find the number of atoms. Sometimes researchers are faced with the following problem, how to determine the number of atoms of a given substance. Initially, it may seem extremely complicated, because the number of atoms even in a tiny sample of any substance is simply grandiose. How do you calculate them? Instructions. Step 1. Suppose you want to count the number of atoms in a piece of pure metal, for example, iron, copper, or even gold. Yes, imagine yourself in the place of the great scientist Archimedes, to whom Tsar Hieron gave a completely different commission, saying, you know, Archimedes, in vain I suspected my jeweler of fraud, the crown turned out to be made of pure gold. Our royal majesty is now pleased to know how many golden atoms it contains. Step 2. The real Archimedes would naturally be thrown into a stupor by the task, even though he was a genius. Well, you could handle her in no time. First you need to accurately weigh the crown. Suppose it weighed exactly 2 kilograms, that is, 2,000 grams. Then, according to the periodic table, set the molar mass of gold, about 197 grams slash mole. To simplify the calculations, round up a little, let it be 200 grams slash mole. Therefore, there are exactly 10 moles of gold in the unfortunate crown. Well, then take Avogadro's universal number, 6, 0, 22 by 1023, multiply by 10 and triumphantly take the result to King Hieron. Step 3. But what if you need to count the number of gas atoms? The task is a little more difficult, but also easy to solve. It is only necessary to measure the temperature, volume and pressure of the gas with sufficient accuracy. Step 4. And then use the familiar mendeleev clapeyron equation, PV equals MRT slash M. Note that M slash M is nothing more than the number of moles of a given gas, since M is its actual mass and M is molar. Step 5. Substitute the known values into the PV slash RT fraction, multiply the found result by the universal Avogadro number, 6, 0, 22 by 1023, and get the number of gas atoms at a given volume, pressure, and temperature. Step 6. And if you want to count the number of atoms in a sample of a complex substance? And there is nothing particularly difficult here. Weigh the sample. Then write down its exact chemical formula, use the periodic table to specify the molar mass of each component and calculate the exact molar mass of this complex substance, taking into account the indices of the elements, if necessary. Step 7. Well, then find out the number of moles in the test sample, by dividing the mass of the sample by the molar mass, and multiply the result by the Avogadro number. Thanks for watching.